All right, now we're gonna be doing some coding. So I have right here with me, Multicam Pro. Allows you to record up to three cameras at the same time. Look at that. Ultra zoom, ultra wide, Damn, wide. Damn, that Mac Pro looks gorgeous. So three computers. Let's see how fast we can compile this Multicam Pro app on a Mac Pro, the i7 16 incher, the i9 15 incher. Three, two, one, go, go. All right, boom, shakalaka. We have some compilation. It is building. This is done. This is done. This is done. Launching the simulator. But at this, at the same time, professional. All of them. They work completely fine for coding. Right now, the simulator is running, and the fan noise on all of these machines with the simulator running, the code just compiled. It is silence. Very, very silent when you're doing some coding, just basically on a MacBook Pro's monitor. As soon as you plug in an external display, that's when it gets a bit hairy. And on the Mac Pro, dead silent. Autodesk Maya 3D modeling. We've got some transformers on our screen here. I've disabled the eGPU because it's not working well with this application when you have to blit to the internal screen. If you have an external display, it runs about the same as the 5500M RAM, 8 gigabytes RAM, RAM on the 16 incher. So, I've got right here the 560X, the 580X, and the 5300M. Which one's gonna win? The Mac Pro, 10,000 Australian dollar machine, or these two combined? It's running 12, 13 frames a second. This is a joke. 13 frames, we're getting 19 to 20 frames a second here on the 15 inch MacBook Pro. 25 frames a second there, and this guy is going 18 frames a second at the moment. So this 15 inch MacBook Pro 560X is beating out this Mac Pro. Let's do some serious stuff. Let's get into the world of game development, 3D and CPU at the same time. So right now we're about to launch Unreal Engine on all three platforms. I'll get the Mac Pro and the i9 going at the same time. Three, two, one, double click, double click, double click, yep and double click, double click. Making sure they're about to launch. Now I've re-downloaded everything from scratch because I wanted to recompile all of the shaders, show you how much performance difference is between all of these systems. We've got 10 watts being pulled in on the i7. We've got 11 watts being pulled in on the i9 and we've got 50 watts of CPU on the Xeon, the Xeon 8 core and nothing is on the screen. Which one is gonna load first? Now, I clicked the Mac Pro first by about a second, second after this, and about three seconds later, this one got clicked. So I'm excited about this one. Nothing is happening. What is it doing? They're all exactly at 73. 73, this is a heavy duty game engine. PS3, PS4, Xbox, the new Xbox, PC games, they're all made on this beauty of a game engine, Unreal Engine 4 and it's 73%, this is the latest edition of the engine. This CPU is currently going around average 2.9, maximum 4.3 gigahertz. This CPU, 3.9 on max and 3.5 average. This guy, 3.4 max and 2.9, 2.9 average. Which one's gonna load first? 90% on all three, can you believe that? Can you believe that? 90% on these consumer pro level hardware and on this Mac gigantic, Supendous, expensive, the price of two and a half versions of these MacBook Pros. That is also, at, oh, they're all on the screen, same speed. Okay, the Mac Pro won, i7 came second, and the i9 came third. But I actually clicked this guy around three seconds before this guy, so I say the i7 16 inch won that. Now we're doing the shader compilation game, and straight away. 2,000 shaders to compile on the i7, whereas the Mac Pro, look at it, it's only 1,300 shaders to go, and the i9, 1,473. So this guy is actually killing through the shaders, but there you go, we can see we're pulling in 135 watts of power on this Xeon CPU, going at an average frequency of 3.8. On the i9, the MacBook Pro, we're eating up <laughs> 19 watts of power, <laughs> 19. And it's throttling all the way down to 1.5 gigahertz. I, I think I got a problem with this machine. This needs to go back to Apple for them to fix it. Over here on the 16 incher, we're getting an average of 2.6 gigahertz and it is eating up 35 watts of power. 
problem is like when you start using the GPU and the CPU at the same time, that's where these MacBook Pros, they really slow down because there isn't enough energy to distribute that power comprehensively to the CPU and GPU at the same time. So the CPU is getting limited over here on the 16 inch to 35 watts. Or this guy's done, look, he's finished. The CPU's eating 70 watts on idle, not even doing a thing. So they're all now fully compiled, their shaders. I don't know what happened with this guy. He went a bit crazy, he dropped down to 1.5 gigahertz, but now he seems to be back in operation. Finish the compilation there. Anyway, so we're getting 47 to 48 frames a second over on the 2019 i9, the 15 incher. We're getting 53 frames a second on the i7 six core Unreal Engine 16 inch MacBook Pro. And on the Mac Pro, we're getting 55 frames a second, 55 frames a second on this Mac Pro. So between these guys, there isn't much in it. And to be honest with you, I actually did a test with the i9 version of the 16 incher and that was 20% faster at compiling shaders. So when you'll be comparing the i9 16 incher with the Mac Pro, you're getting similar level results. But obviously, if you're gonna be bashing out a heavy exporting session, compilation session for an hour or two, you're probably gonna burn up your MacBook Pro, which is what happened with this guy, but that's how it is there. Let's see how it feels like to use. So when I'm playing around with the engine right here, selecting, selecting, kind of like instant. Okay, that's a bit slow over there. Moving the camera around seems very easily usable. I was using this engine back in 2010, making some Xbox and PS3 games back in the day. So this is uh, amazing to see it running on a Mac and especially the graphics, how it's improved over the years. But yeah, moving around seems very, very lush. Let's go on this 16 inch MacBook Pro. It's obviously really hard to just use the trackpad. But as you can see, I'm moving up and down and it goes to around 25 frames a second when I do that and selecting is pretty fast and nice and easy. Let's look at this part of the scene where the pharaohs, obviously being an Egyptian, I can attest to that's what they look like. So we're getting 60 frames a second here and on this scene, we're getting 45. Gonna hit play on both. Play, play, and play. So the game is now running over here. We're locked in at 60 frames a second over there. We're locked in at 57 frames a second with an eGPU plugged in. <laughs> Apple don't like eGPUs anymore. 57 frames a second on the 15 inch MacBook Pro. And on the Mac Pro, we're getting 65 frames a second. So five frames a second, 580 is winning, winning the show. Now I gotta say, this project is a bit old. It's not using any new rendering techniques. So with the 580X, it performs really well with cookie cutter graphics, none of the special routines, but with the newer stuff, the newer stuff, the seven nanometer GPU actually performs better than the 580X. You, you gotta give the 16 inch mad respects at the performance. Look at that, 70 frames a second and it's, it's, it's performing really well. The only negative about this guy is the fan noise, fan noise city. But I gotta give it mad respect that it's keeping up with a 10,000 Australian dollar system. You can get two of these for the price of that.